Am I on? Are we on? I don't think we're on. Oh, we're on. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new vlog here on Casey Cues. I am Casey. Welcome to my channel. It is Wednesday. I'm vlogging on my phone at the moment because I got out of telemetry class early and my teeth look really yellow right now. It's just so, so bright yet so dark outside right now. <laughs> Let me put my pop socket back on. Hi, I'm all over the place. So I decided I'm gonna do a vlog because um, I'm off the next couple of days and I have a lot of things planned, kind of, sort of. Um, so yes, I got off early today, so I decided that I wanted to go to Michael's by myself because my mom and Molly are home right now, but they're cleaning for my mom's 31 party tomorrow. But I'm going to go into Michael's. I want to see if I can get or look around, mainly look around for um, some bridesmaids gift proposal boxes. I was in there the other day just looking for stuff for my engagement party. And yeah. And I also have an Ulta gift card that I might want to use. So I'm contemplating going to Ulta. We went to Ulta the other day and um, Devin and I were looking for a palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. We we're waiting to see if that came out, but it didn't. But anyways, I'm at Michael's. I'm just going to peruse though. I have nothing that I actually need to buy unless they have like a super duper good sale on what I need. I'm not going to buy anything today. But I just want to look around, so I'll take you guys in there with me. It's a lot easier to vlog in public on my phone because I feel like everybody uses their phone nowadays to do everything, so I'll do that. It's about 2 o'clock. My ear is really red compared to this one look. Can you see the difference? <laughs> and then I'm going to go to Target because I need deodorant. It's such a fun thing to say. Really, really not. Alright, I'm going to grab my wallet out of here and we'll move on. Also, I had a so, <coughs> I haven't talked that much about my job, but I had a meeting with my manager and my preceptor today, and it went really well. It was really quick, um, but my manager thinks that I'm a really strong nurse. Those are her her quotes. We went over like a case study, and I just was answering all her questions appropriately, so she really liked that. So that was good, and um, there's someone next to me, so I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you inside. All right, so I was looking at these boxes here. They're $7.99 each. There's a lot of people in here today. Um, and I've, I've scoured the store for all different things, and I haven't found anything I like. And I was picturing something like a wooden box, but that's definitely not the size that I need. Probably gonna have to order them online, but. So I uh, decided to run on over after I was done at Michael's to Marshall slash Home Goods because they're right next to each other ever so conveniently in the same plaza as also Target. But anyways, I came across my first ever Ray Dunn gold mine, my friends, and um, freaking A. Have no money to spend on anything at all. Oh, there's a child in a, a woman in the car in front of me. Um, there's people everywhere. That, that's, you know, the world. I'll show you the four items that I did end up getting. I just got some mugs. I spent about 20 bucks on mugs, which I'm not really regretting because three of the four are already done. And the other one that I got, I have another one very similar to it at home. So I, I like to collect things. I'm a collector and Ray Dunn is like my favorite thing ever. Oh, there was so much stuff, and I wanted it all. They have so many cute Easter things, and um, I'm shitting my pants about it because I want it all. But I can't because I have no money, even though I work my ass off. Don't get credit cards, kids. Don't go to college. Don't take out loans. I, I don't know what to tell you. Just, you know, don't do anything. Just sit on your ass your whole life, and... You'll be just fine. Maybe you can afford Ray Dunn in that situation. Goodness gracious, I don't know if I'm recording half the time. Uh, I think we're on. I smell now though because I have had this punch bowl at my parents since Christmas. On the floor in the garage. Just chilling with the alcohol still inside. It wasn't like we cleaned it or anything. I literally just left it there. 
So it's been there for like two months and it's disgusting to say the least. So guys, I wanted to share with you my, it's so much easier to vlog and like put my camera places when I have, when I'm doing it on my phone. But then I'm tempted to look at myself and I don't want to do that. But um, I wanted to share with you guys real quick my Ray Dunn haul for today. And like I said, I, oh, I didn't finish. I'm so scattered brain. Let me take this off though. <coughs> I have to decorate for Easter. So yeah, my punch bowl. So I finally brought it home and I spilled it on myself. So that's what you see. If you see anything on me, it's freaking punch. But anyway, let's get into my, my Ray Dunn haul, shall we? So, I'm going to start with a more obvious thing. I, they're all mugs. I got three Ray Dunn mugs and one other mug. So, the first, like, classic Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn mug that I picked up this trip. It says BU. They had three of these ones specifically, which I really liked. It was $4.99. Um, and I have a lot of this like collection. Not a lot. I have three. This is my fourth. I The first one I ever got was Believe, which is back here. Believe. Love it. Um, and then I also got coffee and tea um, for Christmas. I don't know why I got dark all of a sudden. So I have coffee and then I used my tea one last night. Is it in the dishwasher? Don't know where about it is. Ah, here it is. Coffee and tea and we're backwards. Is that right? So today I got BU. And this one's actually a little bit bigger. The coffee and tea ones seem a little bit smaller. But anyways, BU. Very, very cute. And then um, they had all this Easter stuff out, right? Like all their end caps were all of the Tupperware, not Tupperware, all the glassware, the china, all that stuff. They had an end cap of Easter stuff. So um, I was just looking at it and then I peeked at the bottom and saw that these were right on. So this one's really cute. It just says happy on the side on this little banner. It's hard to see. I don't know why. So happy and then Easter with two bunnies like kissing and they're just so cute. So they had this one and the inside is blue. It's like a baby blue color. I don't know why you like can't see this and the color is very wonky. Huh. Oh there we go. So yeah blue in the inside of that one and then this one um, it says happy Easter but it's with a little chickadee. Little chickadee and a little egg. And the inside of this is like a very baby pink color. These were $5.99 each. So a little bit pricier, but really cute. I love the shape. I just love Radon. Freaking love Radon. The last mug that I got, also an Easter mug. But I'll probably leave this one out all year because it's it's a bunny. It's not really Easter. It's uh this is by what is the Porch made in Portugal. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't say what brand this is, but I know. So yeah, it doesn't say what um, brand it is, but it has a little bunny on it, and it's kind of got this like ceramic. It's like a rather large mug. But anyways, the reason I got it was because I have a twin of it. I have this bird, same mug. Pretty sure they're that this one's from Marshalls as well. And they're different sizes, actually. But they have to be made by the same artist, I want to say. Look. Definitely, right? So they're a little bit different in size. I got this one, like, two or three years ago for my birthday from my cousin Natalie. And I love it. I call it... Well, I call it my early bird catches the warm mug. But now I have my Ether Bunny Hop Hop mug. I'm so excited. It's so cute. And this one was only $3.99. You can't beat it when a mug is that cheap. I freaking went a little crazy, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to wash these and add them to the collection. Because I have a lot of mugs. It's not even uh, it's not even funny. And I like collect Starbucks mugs as well. 
I have really adorable ones. They don't really make these anymore. But I have a bunch of these ceramic, like this shape. I have like five of them. Oh, those are nice. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and that's all. I have, I have some stuff to do, so I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it is Thursday. My eye is bugging me, this eye. Um, and I am about to take Molly, my little sister, to breakfast. She is on her midwinter break right now, so she's out of school. And it's already Thursday, so she had all week off. And I'm finally getting around to doing some, some pink something with her because obviously I had to work the past three days and wasn't able to hang out much so um gonna take her to breakfast um I was gonna go get my nails done but my mom wants us to wait till tomorrow and then she'll go too she is currently party prepping for her 31 party that she's having tonight which I will vlog at um and yeah, so I, I just got like ready for the day. I uh, wanted to throw a little makeup on and just look a little bit more presentable, which I am um, and I'm enjoying. Oh, my dad's home, so I'm gonna grab Molly and we're gonna go. Um, my mom wants to borrow an ice bucket thing for wine. All I have is a punch bowl and then a single ice wine thing. So. Here we go. It's snowing. Why? So Molly and I are at Funkin Waffles and we're looking over the menu and it looks really good. Yeah, every, every night. This is what it looks like. I wonder if we were supposed to come in this store. <laughs> I don't know. It's very like retro-ish. Right, I'm gonna get this one. It's and like then they have like city, urban. They have a lavender latte. Should I try it? I'm scared. Maybe next time. So it was really quick service. And I got this. Delicious. But it's really good. It's like delicious. So Molly and I are at the hot blob. Ooh, my ring. I hate when my ring turns backwards. Oh, I thought you just dropped your ring. No. Um. <laughs> but the new, the Wegmans over there doesn't look any, like, newer than this. That's a weird... Maybe that was a top. I don't know. Molly and I were just talking about how... Tables. Or the oval. So, Molly and I were just talking about how we have like a strong upstate New York accent. We have a strong one? I think we do. I want to know, anyone who's watching this video, if you think that I have some sort of accent or like oh have what? It's um... Oh yeah, I've seen those. They have those at... Michaels. Michaels, yeah. Um, I just want to know what people think. Look at all the fake flowers. It looks so pretty. This is definitely my theme. Orange. Burnt orange oh, color. Like this poop brown color. I was like, what? like I like these. But anyways, so let me know down below if you think Molly and I have, or my family and I, or anybody in my videos, have a accent. And let me know where you're from and if you have an accent too. All right, we're gonna make a mock flower arrangement. Where do we begin? I want mums. That's for sure. I love like, I love like wild flowers, but this is very spring summery, like lavender, but I like like these, ooh, these, <laughs> wow, their fake flowers are expensive, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be buying my flowers from here, but I'm gonna get real ones, but, from, what is it called, bro? Rao Flores. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna look around here. I'll bring you back if we find anything interesting. This is totally me. It's a cowbell. Need it. Alright. Bathroom. There's so many people everywhere. Do you know where 
I guess we're gonna have to ask because I have no idea. Silly rabbit. Silly rabbit, you search for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that picture. And we found these, they, it looks like they took real life pictures of a man that dressed up as Jesus and recreated some Bible verses. They did. Yep, that's exactly what they, they did. They did. <laughs> Still not finding success on the box hunt. But looking at the Easter, oh this is all 40% off. Easter hasn't even begun. I know. Watch it, they're, they're probably getting rid of it so they can put their Halloween stuff out. This is, okay, Six ninety nine was 40% off of that. Like $5? No, like no, four. Less four. Than that. 40% off. It would be like, because 50 is half, so I add a dollar back on. <clears throat> <laughs> That's how you do it? <laughs> Just one dollar. <laughs> yeah. So it's seven, so like four bucks. Mm -hmm. I should get it. I should get it. <laughs> Whoa. So, hi guys. Um, I'm home now. I've been home for a bit. Not really doing anything, which is really freaking sucky. I like took a nap, and I woke up and I ate a bunch of food, and uh, then I like washed some dishes and cleaned up a little bit of laundry that was hanging out all over the house because Brendan just takes his shit off and just leaves it wherever he is at the moment that he takes off whatever he's wearing. Socks, t-shirts, pants, coats, hats, gloves, underpants, one sock, two socks, freaking don't know, but it's really annoying. So I cleaned all that up and I knew, okay, so, and, the, and now I'm here, right? So I've known for quite a while here, let me, oh, oh, I just plugged my hair into the outlet with my lights. It's fine. So yeah, I've known for a while that the YouTube Partner program was going to demonetize my account because I don't have a thousand subscribers and I knew that that was going to happen on February 20th, which is two days ago. And I just like haven't looked at my like my video manager on YouTube in a couple days. And it's just really sad to go on there and see that I don't have those little dollar signs next to all my videos like I used to. And it's, I don't know, I'm just sad. I'm just sad. Um, I'm currently standing at 876 subscribers, which means I only need 124 to make it to 1,000. Math. Um, so I'm just kind of disappointed. I really wanted to hit a thousand subscribers last year, but, um, maybe it'll happen this year. Maybe it won't. I am never going to stop making YouTube videos. This isn't like going to stop me. It's just a little discouraging, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop. And to be quite frank, I know I wasn't making very much on YouTube at all. I made... <sighs> Like, I want to say it was, like, October of 2015, they paid me out 100 bucks, And then on May 21st of 2017, they paid me out $100.56. And my unpaid earnings to date are $53.42. But, like, I know that the threshold's $100 and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just, it's really exciting when you finally hit that 100 dollar threshold and it was hard enough to get there so I just don't see the point in unmonetizing and pulling channels out of the partner program that are under that threshold I just I don't understand it I really don't I don't see why that needed to happen I really still don't understand the full reason why it happened I haven't really researched it myself I've just watched angry videos of people that have well over a thousand videos talking about it and I read through like the emails that I've gotten from YouTube about it and I just watched like a video about it and it's just really disappointing and disheartening but there's nothing that I can do about that except hope that people start subscribing to my channel because I know that I have uh, anywhere from like 30 to 100 views on most of my videos and 
out of the, that number, I believe maybe about 10 to 15 are probably watching my channel and subscribed. Um, the rest of them, guys, I don't know where you come from, but why don't you stick around? It, and I just sincerely mean it. Why? Like, what... What are you looking for in a YouTube channel? The vast majority of people watching my videos, what do you search on YouTube that interests you? What brought you to my channel? I want I want to know these things. I don't get the opportunity to interact with you guys that often because you guys don't interact with me. <laughs> like I'm like a highly interactive channel. Like I really like to get to know my subscribers as much as they will let me, but I just, I wish that I had a little more support, I guess, for this whole thing. I kind of just do it because I like to do it, but there's really not too many people in my life even that really, like, support it fully. Like, Brendan is really not into it. Like, he doesn't care that I do it, but, like, he doesn't support me and say, you know, like, this is something that's good for you and I want you to keep doing it because it makes you happy. He just doesn't see it as that. He kind of sees it as like a hobby and like a waste of time. Like he supports me in everything I do, don't get me wrong, but like he doesn't see the opportunity in it and I don't know if I necessarily see the opportunity in my YouTube channel's future, but I just know that I, I like being here and I don't want to go anywhere. And I do have fun the whole process of filming, editing, and uploading, every single bit of it is my favorite thing ever. I love filming and talking to you guys. I love looking back on my own memories as I create new videos, editing, going through footage that I've created, and creating something refined and new out of all of the content, content that I collect and I create. Um, I love editing. I love then uploading and coming up with a title and making a thumbnail and um, changing up the description box. Like I literally love every aspect that YouTube provides me to allow myself to be creative. It really is my favorite thing ever. So I, w I won't ever stop doing it and um, I find it very therapeutic for myself. So I just couldn't stop if I wanted to. But if you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, so subscribing to my channel means more now than it ever has before. Because by subscribing, you're really pushing me forward and propelling me and keeping me motivated. And I don't know. I, I just would really appreciate anyone who decides to subscribe and participate here. I mean, you don't have, I mean, subscribing doesn't mandate you to do anything other than nothing. You just, you have no man, like, you're not required to be here for anything. But it is nice having a following. And, like, for me personally, the way that I use YouTube, I have um, a handful of accounts that I absolutely love. And I just, I turn my notifications on for them. And I get about a million notifications a day from all these channels that I really, really enjoy following. And then I'm subscribed to a whole other million, bajillion other people that I would definitely will go through and look in my subscriber box and add videos to my watch later list. I like, I just love YouTube and it's really important to me. So anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there because I was kind of bummed. But yeah, I'm going to continue here on YouTube so don't you fret I ain't going nowhere all right guys I'm gonna head over to my mom's because um her 31 party is going to start in about 40 minutes and I like want to get there early just because that's what I want to do I don't know if Brendan's gonna come with me Brendan are you gonna come with me or oh. are you gonna come on over for a little bit or it's your mom's party. yeah you can come though if you want she has all her friends well, they're not there yet if you just want to come until the party starts. Look at my roses. 6.30. My roses are still looking freaking beautiful. I'll change the water and I'm trying. Yeah. Alright, I'm leaving now. Will you wait for me? No. I just kind of throw clothes on. Throw clothes on. Look at what I did with my uh, punch bowl. 
she made it into like a wine chilling bucket. It looks good though, except it's kind of sweaty. And then that's Louis Husta. We got Wildcat Pizza today. Veggie, Ribo, Kaina Chai's. My mom is getting all new furniture. I blessed maybe two or three vlogs ago. We went shopping for her. She needs to do but something with it. The curtains just do a world of change. Sorry. Yeah, um, this with any room. Bright. And then look at the St. Patrick's Day spread. <gasps> I need to decorate for Easter because Easter is coming soon. Yeah, Bye. Easter's like April 1st, right? Wow. Goodness gracious. So yeah. Early. Cozy. Hello everyone, it's Friday. Uh, we just got our nails done. We got this like mint green. It was actually called mint chocolate chip. It matches her shirt. I know. Mom got bright Easter egg pink. And Molly got like purple and spray disco disco. <laughs> It was, it's more sparklier than the one you got for Christmas. Remember that one was kind of like chunky sparkle? This is like... Sparkle. Fine sparkles. It, yeah. Yeah. She kind of went hard on me. I was bleeding all oh. over the place. The, that's what I, I'm just a bleeder. My thin, my blood is very thin. Like even at the dentist, I bleed all over the place. The dentist? The dentist. <laughs> when they floss my teeth. Yeah. So we're gonna go get lunch and it should be good. My gums it's very gloomy. I was expecting place. the sun to be out and no, it's not yeah, out. Hi there my party people. So after my mom and Molly and I got lunch, my mom dropped me off at home. And I took a freaking nap. And now it's 3.30. And I'm heading over to the house. Wait a second. There's a package at the door. Got them. <coughs> Our engagement party invitations came in the mail today. Gotta get them mailed out. God, my hair is annoying. This bump that I have won't go away. Alright, so yes, I'm on my way over to the house that Brendan, his dad, and his brother have been building from the ground up for the past eight months, I feel like. I don't know exactly how long they've been doing it, but it's been quite a journey. I'm going over there, we're having like the people that, that that own the house that they're building are like throwing a little party for them, I guess. To my understanding, that's what's going on. Um, I think I've shown the house before back in October. Um, I was over there for the first time, I think. And the house was fully built, but um, all the inside wasn't quite done yet. But um, we went up in the chair, chair lift. I don't know what that thing is called. It takes you up really high. The excavator, I think it's called. I don't know. That could be totally wrong. But if you want to go check out the progress that's been made. Um, obviously, the landscaping isn't done because it's winter. But everything else in the inside is done. It's not furnished or anything like that yet. But... They're practically done, so they wanted to party. So that's what's happening. I'm going to Tops to grab them some Corona, and then I'm gonna grab myself a coffee because I'm wicked sleepy. The weather outside is frightful, my friends. It's been gloomy the past couple of days, and it's awful. I'm really not digging it. Um, and then our invitations came. Which is pretty exciting. That lady really beat my nails up. They are they have sore nail beds. They are literally red because she was filing them so much. I don't know what the problem was. Like why she had to freaking go that hard on my poor little nail beds. It really hurt Charlie. It really hurt. Open these up real quick and then I'll go inside. Uh, how am I gonna do nursey things tomorrow? with freaking really sore hands, sore fingers. Like my nails hurt. They're not glossy, but they're really cute. I worked really hard on them because I wanted the font to look really pretty at the bottom. So I'm really excited. The front looks like 
this, obviously, and then the back is just polka dots, which is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go on top, get the frickin' beer, and then go from there. Hi guys, so, sorry for an uneventful day. Got these nails done, they really hurt, and we also got our um, engagement party invites in the mail. I'm gonna cover up the bottom because personal information, um, but Brendan's mom actually made the exact same ones pretty much. I think the only difference is this is blue on hers and not green, but no biggie. Um, but I have a bunch of extra now, but I am mailing a few out <coughs> to people that my mom forgot to add to the mix and that she didn't have their addresses, so I have them and I'm sending them out. But I'm going to hit the showers because I have to work all weekend. Two 12 hour shifts, so I'm already tired thinking about it. So I'm gonna bathe myself and go to bed. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this for me because we know about that 1,000 subscribers threshold that I deserve and I don't have. I'm just kidding. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. I will see you all in another time. Bye, everyone. Literally always learning something new. And that's what keeps nursing so exciting, in my opinion. And it's a great field to go into if you like excitement and you want to stay on your toes.